So you know what this is, right? Get this out of here. The box is huge. Look at this. I can't even flex past it. I mean, I kind of can because my muscles are huge. PS5. I know it comes 4K. I'm curious about this 8K setup though. Also, what do we have that runs 8K? I can't even think of it. Maybe there's 8K video games, or at least in the future. I'm gonna guess Cyberpunk's gonna be one. I'm guessing now because it's gonna come out like five years from this video. So, BD Project Red. Get on it! What do we, we got here? Lightning speed, immersion, stunning games. Well, let's see if that's true. I need my, my samurai sword from my Ghost of Tsushima days. Which, if you want to see the Ghost of Tsushima video, we got that too. I'll put a link somewhere. Samurai cat. Giant collapsible box. Tiny PlayStation logo. There are instructions on how to unfold this box, which y'all already know how I feel about instructions. Will I follow them today? Probably not. All right, so I guess I'm just gonna set this down here. So y'all can see what's going on because this box is way too big. Way too damn big. PS5 manuals and instructions and things. Power cable. Ooh, nice. Now, y'all know I already got a little head start on this because they sent out all the accessories like a week and a half before the PlayStation actually came out. So I've had this controller already sitting back there getting kind of messed with it, but without any of the games running and running out the, I guess without it being plugged in and running like haptic motors, you can't really feel the sensors or anything because there's nothing for them to react to. Although, feeling the motors like vibrate inside is kind of funny. So now we got double controller power! Double controller power! Charging cable for these rats, y'all. HDMI cable for the console itself. What the heck is this? I don't know what this is. Perhaps we'll read the instructions and find out. We'll probably not. I'm gonna watch a video on it. So I'm gonna help you out, because you can watch this video on it. All right. It's so heavy. It's the beast. It's fine. It's probably fine. Oh, snap. Here it is. Is that the back of it? The front of it? That's the front of it, that's crazy, right? Look at this weird futuristic, it looks like those like mansions of the future kind of thing, where there should be a swimming pool over in this spot, and then, you know, the little courtyard deal here. And Super heavy, this is like a 20 pound device, look at this. Look at this bulging muscle from holding this right here, this is crazy. <laughs> we got the addition, of course, with this drive, because I just feel like as a collector, I always want the, I mean, I, I love digital stuff and I get the idea of it cutting down on plastics and papers and all that stuff, but I love having the actual, the physical item. I can give this to people and let them play it later. And I just like it. So we went with non-digital, we went with the physical disc tray version. We got our HDMI port, we got our ethernet, two USB power cable, or power setup, I guess rather. I say we hook this up. I'm gonna go ahead and start transferring over the PS4 data, get this set up. And then I'll grab the Elgato, we can get a look at what the menu on the new PS5 looks like today, launch day. Oh wait, this is still, I still don't know what this is. I don't even, you know what? We're gonna have to look at that ultra cool Sony FAQ they sent out on how the hell everything works too. So we'll figure out what this is. We'll figure it out. All right, just routing everything down through here. And we're gonna see if this, giant beast of a system will actually fit down here in our entertainment center. Is that the right way? It looks like the right way, because it says Sony here, but also it looks like it's sitting on top of the disc, but the shape, the shape is confusing me, y'all. There's no flat side to this. Make sure the hook is in the position as illustrated, which this is the hook and this just has it facing back. Yes, you got me, Sony. I had to look at the instructions because I'm like, this doesn't make sense to me. So I guess this is how you get a flat bottom to it. Uh, it does not make the world go round, but it makes the PlayStation go round. Flat bottom system. Flat bottom gear. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> it's gonna, 
Fuck this. You don't, you don't get this kind of commentary with, uh, with IGN and all the big boys. No, no. This is right here. Sky Titan trying to figure out how to make things work. So we line these up with these squares, which they got square, triangle, circle, and X along here. And there we go. That should do it for a uh, horizontal setup. The hunk of chunky. Different horizontal, sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> references for days. I got references for days. So many days. Name that reference in comments. And if you do, I will send you, I don't know, like a digital CD or something. We'll figure out something cool if you know the reference. I don't think anybody can actually get it from that unless they're like die hard, <laughs> like die hard movie people. So you're already narrowing it down by saying it's a movie. Spoiler. What you doing? You playing some video games? We got it. All right, more things now. Plug things, do stuff, make game work good. Connect your controller to the console with the USB cable and press I know, it's what I'm doing. Oh, oh yeah, let me play this. This thing is yelling at me in Spanish right now. Hey, I got it. PlayStation, I got it. Controllers hooked together. Button pushed. I'm surprised that French is a widespread enough language to be specialized. All right. I'm pushing it. It went from blue to orange. I don't know what's going on now. All right, so we're gonna try the other controller out, see what happens there. Yes, yes, connected. Gotcha. Also orange. I'm just gonna turn it off and try it again. Wow, this thing talks a lot. I did not read the PS4 talk this much? Reminds me of kind of PS3's old setup. We are plugged in again. Well, this is not going well for straight out the box right now. Alright, All right, la touche PS, I got you. Connect your controller to the console with the USB cable and press the PS button. Connect to control la consola Select your Finally! Is that that? Do it 8,000 times. So that cable? Continue with the screen reader turned on. <laughs> 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 Press cross to select. I guess that's it. Already, I could tell the difference between this and the PS4 controller in like the reaction time. Just kind of weird. I tap the button and like a second passes and then it moves. Maybe that's a setting we can update later. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna way overdo it on the brightness because these darker video games are always hard to see. I got bad eyeballs and these magnifying lenses on my face. If only we had some sort of disc to insert into this to oh wait is that the new spider-man ultimate launch day edition <laughs> well i guess we're just gonna throw this in there and let it load up so not that it's a big deal but right away i can hear this thing charging up and the disc like it, the revving up on the hard drive so it's not as quiet as we thought it would be Fun fact, did you know that Sony can now uh, record your conversations that you do when you have chat parties and everything like that? Mm-hmm, just keep it in mind, that's all I'm saying. And it says, who can see your game in history? And sometimes they give away free stuff and I was like, I'm just gonna play this. And that's how we end up with Hey Tofu Boyfriend, which is the weirdest bird pigeon puzzle video game. I don't even know what you want to call that thing. Can't let people see that. I gotta hide my history, hide my shame. Maybe you're making it not anyone, because you keep getting invitations from like sexy, sexy ladies. <laughs> well, that's what the message says. <laughs> They're like, hey, would you like to have much sexy fun time? Oh, what is this? I'm gonna save you all the trouble seeing all this stuff and just gonna skip to it and be mid Spider-Man. It's like, Miles Morales. Punching, uh, what's his name? Kingpin in the back of the head. Oh, Spider-Man. Wilson! So now it says that it's gonna transfer all of my data from the PS4, my saves, my games, my downloads and stuff, to the PS5. And I'm gonna be very impressed if in the time it takes to set all this up, Spider-Man's actually already loaded and ready to go. We'll get there eventually, right? Now we got, what is it, 36 minute wait time? Seems like a good time to go ahead and pause the video. And then, we'll get back with y'all in a little bit and see, finally get to see what the PS5 menu looks like. At least I will, maybe you've already seen some videos. Yeah, on my mixtape. Bye.
Ah, my mixtape. Buy it. So it took about two and a half hours to actually transfer the, what, most of the save data, the PSN data, and a couple of games. That was it. I didn't, track, didn't actually transfer that many games, so I was surprised it took quite as long. But, I mean, whatever. Here we go. Oh, crap. <laughs> Valhalla. Now, I'm just going to say, Ubisoft, you're letting me down. We ordered this game specifically from the Ubisoft website as a launch day because we wanted to get this with it so we could try it out. And unfortunately, it is not going to be delivered until sometime tomorrow before 8 o'clock. So we don't get a launch day title on launch day even though that's what we paid for. So, nah, shame on you, buddy. Although Sony, Sony did everything right. We got the controller about, what, a week and a half before the system came to us. And we got the system and Spider-Man within a couple of hours of each other today. So it's cool. Should we play it from here though and actually record it? Or should I try to get the Elgato set up so we can get like actual game footage? Let me just, let me plug in this Elgato real quick and just record some games. It's not working. All right. All right, Detective Black said, what we do next? Astrobot? All right, we're doing it. I'm gonna say it one more time only because I feel like it's a necessary thing and so far it is strange to me how slow the controller is to react. I push something and it takes a second before it goes so it kind of throws me off a little bit. I feel like the PS4 controller was more responsive but maybe it's better when we get into the game. The controller's gonna act a little differently. What's that guy doing? <laughs> that robot's a little too excited about this game. So one thing that's kind of cool is you can feel a 3D sense in this right now. It's where you feel the vibrations move across the controller rather than just shake it back and forth. Also, all of the TV sound is coming out of the mic. On this controller. Which could either be really cool or kind of frustrating. I'm not sure which yet. Alright, so what's happening right now is this is actually giving me a lot of resistance. It's pushing back until I click down. I don't know if you can... You can see the pressure on that. So you get to see it kind of locked down into place. So that's kind of cool. Do a little Superman. So that's pretty neat too. It just kind of follows whatever it is you're tracing on here. And you can feel the robots inside fall side to side the controller. <laughs> it's rattling around the box. Wait. All right, so I'm supposed to blow on the controller now. What? All right. I'm not really sure that's gonna get used in games yet, but I mean, hey, I've been amazed by PlayStation stuff before, right? It's like, Space Odyssey 2000. A bunch of grills in car right now to start beating on PlayStation. <clears throat> I don't know if it's 8K or not, but it looks pretty good. Original PlayStation? What was that, like 1995? 96? What? What's this? What up, dude? Look out, sucker. <laughs> just mags I punch the glass. It's like Laser feet! Yeah, here. Kinda looks like uh, Kratos. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <gasps> You're right, that's Kratos the kid! We just found Robot Kratos and the boy. Let's see what we got. Let's snatch his coins first though. Get my PlayStation one here. Also, why is it so hard to control? Is there you feel a delay still? Yeah. It is not going where I thought it would go, as I think it's going there. Is that crab? Crab. Crabs! Look at it. It's dancing. I'll get you crabs. Give me a wallet, give me a wallet. <laughs> goes old school, throws on the old VR headset, why not? All right, well, let's see what else we got. 
So we did just find this, which is pretty cool. This is the PS Plus collection. And these are the free games that come, I guess not technically preloaded, but you can add them to your library for free. They've got some pretty good ones like Crash. If you got Resident Evil, Persona, Detroit, and all of these, you can just go on and add right now to your, uh, to your gaming library, which is pretty cool. And so this is what the PlayStation Store looks like on PS5. Looks at the collection that came with it. Your monthly games are still coming up here, although, you know, right now it mostly has PS4 games. Bug Snacks for PS5. We got Multiplayer. And of course, Buy My Mixtape. Now, let's talk about the lag in this controller. The fact that this thing has like a half second delay on it every time you hit a button is becoming a problem. Like, it's fine, you can still play the game, but it's so hard to like time anything and all the nuanced stuff is just like out the window. So we decided to get in the live chat with Sony to see if we can figure out what is going on with this controller. Thank you for calling PlayStation Player Support. Phone support is currently closed. So if you find yourself having a lag issue on this as well, where you're pressing a button and a second later it reacts on the screen, what it turned out being, any TV that's maybe just a few years old, they have different settings if you go to the options on them and go to like your picture quality. And they have things like movie and dynamic and low power and game mode. And if you have it on anything other than game mode, that's where this lag comes from. So game mode, it reduces all the bells and whistles to get you as close as it possibly can to the best reaction time. And that was it. Unfortunately, we did get Sony on the live chat. They had no idea what to do. They recommended that they gave us an 800 number to call. They're also always closed every single day so far since launch. But it was YouTube to the rescue. And with enough searching, you can pretty much find anything on there. That's how we found out about that. Controller lag. Fix it. Switch it over to game mode and your TV options and you should be good to go. So I'm going to try out a little bit of quality control real quick and test out a few things because there's already been instances of people posting online that they've had bricked systems, that their games get caught in this infinite loading loop and never actually start up. They can't play a digital, they, they're having data transfer issues. So I'm going to try a few things out here and see what we can troubleshoot in the system if anything arises. But first we're going to try a couple of things. Let's see, let's see how just a regular PS5 disc game, the physical disc, loads up. Cool. So Miles Morales boots up, zero issues on it. We've actually started to play through this game already, and everything's going really smooth, especially now we've figured out the lag controller issue. So the PS5 physical disc test passed. Now let's see what happens if we try to load up a digital game. We're going to try Astro's Playroom, which was the digital tech demo that came with the PlayStation itself. And as you see, this one loaded up quick. Uh, download was easy. Everything seems to go through nice and smooth as you would expect it, as it should go for any sort of PS game you download, you know. So, in terms of a in terms of a digital game, no disc, loading it straight off the library from PSN, everything worked out. Pass. Now we're gonna try, I gotta run here somewhere. Now we're gonna try a PS4 game. Supposedly you can throw in any PS4 disc game that you have in here with a couple of exceptions. And you should be able to load them up on your PlayStation 5 and keep going. I've seen some issues online where people have put in their PS4 games and, and it just gets stuck in the download and never actually does. The only way to, re to get it to work is to factory reset the console, which I'm really hoping does not happen here. But you know what? This is, a, this is why we do these videos, why we test this stuff, we try it out. So let's see if we pop in Final Fantasy VII Remake. Let's see what it does. So we're loading in the first disc. Remake pops up quick, says copying. Let's see, we are at 0%, but let's see what it ends up doing. Now the PS5 is a solid state drive, which is different from that of the PS4, so hopefully this will go quicker. Although given the speed it's doing, that might be wishful thinking. Hmm. So we made it through the download. And now let's see, we gotta insert the play disc on it because Final Fantasy is a giant 
beast of a video game that requires two Blu-ray discs. So let's swap this out real quick. I do want to know that this disc came out super hot from the system. So a little bit concerning with heat issues because if y'all remember that's what the original PS3, the launch edition of that had a lot of heat issues which was why they ended up making the slims and changing a lot in there. Okay, says we got Final Fantasy. Let's check and see if that is true. But it seems to be playing. Everything's coming up fine. It recognizes the DLC without us having to re-enter the code. Okay, so this is one thing I'm very excited about because it's been a while since we've had a system where you can put the last gen's disc directly into the system and play it. Unless, of course, you're an Xbox player, in which case Xbox did pretty well about having a lot of games from the original 360 being played on the Xbox One. So, PlayStation, I'm glad to see you catching back up because I was a huge fan of the original PS3 that the thick boy that came out there could play like any PlayStation game. That was pretty cool. So, PS5 being able to play the digital, the physical, and the PS4 games. Very cool. Maybe we'll get very lucky and they'll release a patch in the future that lets us play PS3 and PS2 games on it if you got the disc. Uh, maybe? I don't know. Ah, it's open. So a few things have changed on the menu. Uh, from your PS4, you know, you could just go up a level from your games and everything and you'd see like your settings and your online status and your messages and everything. Well, on this, all of your settings and everything, you just go straight up to the top here. Select that, and it's kind of got, it's got all the, everything you see here is gonna be familiar. This is all the same stuff, it's just kind of in a different spot to get to it and everything. If you wanna check your trophy specific to a game, you can go to it, head down, and then all of your trophies now are gonna be in this line going across, whereas it used to be stacked. It's a little bit hard to read, and I don't know, I guess I'm all right with it. We'll see, it's just everything new just takes getting some used to anyway. But that shows you your trophy progress and all the trophies you can get possibly in here if you're on your way to platinum, which you know we're already trying to platinum these games. You can just tap the PS button in the middle. You've got your latest trophies on this and then you got your home screen switcher, which is new. Switcher, this is kind of cool. This allows you to keep whatever it was you were playing before, you don't actually have to close it out of your games. So if you were playing Spider-Man before and you want to switch over to Final Fantasy, you don't have to close out the game to do it. Notifications, bass, music, downloads and sound. So your mic. Now, this is another interesting thing about these. Sony and PlayStation have released a new update that says, you know, it's allowed to record for quality assurance anything that occurs in your party chats. There's a built-in microphone on this and I believe a secondary microphone on the back of these controllers so that you don't actually have to have a wireless connected to it. The controller itself is the microphone. And this little button right here, if you notice this orange light, I've set mine to default in your settings to go instantly to mute. And that way it's always on this, but when it's off, now the mic's on and potentially recording. So, depends on how much you're into that, if that bothers you or not, or if you just do it for the sake of privacy, you can do it. I don't like the idea of recorded, so I set mine to default that when the system turns on, it goes straight to mute, and then in order for that to change, I have to actually turn it on and off for like chats and things like that. Another change from the PS4 to the PS5 is it used to be you would hold down the PS button, screen would pop up, and that's how you would go to your turning off your controllers, putting your system in a rest mode, or turning it off, powering it down. Now, instead of holding it, holding doesn't do that, you just have to give it a quick tap. Everything comes up on the bottom here, and that's where all of your stuff and your quick release to power goes. Rest mode, turn off, or restarting completely. All right, and that is it, y'all. Everything that we can figure out about the PS5 so far. Hopefully you found some value in this video, you enjoyed it, and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And also check out our playlist, uh, Game Time, because we definitely have other video game related videos for you to check out. Be sure to leave any tips or tricks or ideas or questions, concerns, anything you got about it in the comments so we can check that out. And until next time, stay safe and be cool.